mm -hmm. with the vice president and the governor yesterday. Mm -hmm. And um, quite a day. Uh, the focus of the, the nation was kind of on St. Louis, mm -hmm. and Jill was there. Um, are you with us, Jill? I am. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you guys? Good. Tell us about yesterday. You were with, uh, with the kind of the press at Fabic yesterday. Is that correct? That's right. I was there. I got there, oh, probably around 730 or so and had to go in, set up the equipment, and then we were kicked out for about two hours so the Secret Service could do their security sweep. Is there a reason why they chose Fabic um, of all places? You know, that's an interesting question, and I um, thought about that because that is a union operation, and, you know, with Missouri's new right-to-work law. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that is really a good question. But um, it basically it was to promote small businesses because in the vice president's speech, uh, he did note that uh, small businesses are what keeps our country growing from a business standpoint. I, I did note that the uh, vice president noted that um, uh, he, who did grow up with a family business, a gas station, and then he yes. compared himself to the President Trump as a small, you know, growing up in a small business. <laughs> I saw that too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, come on. Um, he, yeah, that's kind of a stretch, <laughs> isn't it, <laughs> A small business, uh, you know, real estate magnet in uh, in Manhattan. But that aside, it was a, it was quite a day out there. Tell us about the atmosphere, the crowd, and the message. It, it really was. And it was, you know, just a gorgeous day to have the event and have it outside. In fact, the last time I covered Governor Greitens was at the St. Louis Fire Department, and that event was also outside. However... Very cold and windy, and a snowstorm blew up. So this was much, much better. Um, it was a very calm crowd. Uh, no protesters. Uh, you know, you didn't see any of them make their way through into the actual event. However, outside of the company, across the street, very small group of protesters, maybe two dozen, I would say, um, many just holding signs with messages i can't repeat on the air or else mm -hmm. we might get in some trouble with the fcc but it was you know their main issues uh regarding the right to work law immigration racism things like that but inside the event um you know very pleasant very low key uh the vice president's speech very short i would say under 15 minutes which surprised me. I thought it would be much longer. Mm. And it, the focus was on uh, getting rid of regulation and uh, improving the atmosphere, uh, the environment for small businesses, correct? Right, right. And um, his main focus with that seemed to be with repealing Obamacare. In fact, at one point he referred to Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act as a job killer. And he says by repealing this, uh, this would help businesses, especially smaller businesses. Uh, but he also focused much of his speech on what happened at the Jewish cemetery and, um, you know, shared the, the common sentiment of calling it a despic despicable act. And he did also uh, uh, applaud Missourians for coming together to rally and support the Jewish community. And we do know what happened afterwards that he joined Governor Greitens along with other volunteers in the cleanup efforts at the cemetery. Hey, Jill, were any of the employees, um, were they able to ask him questions or anything? Or, and then Governor Greitens, did he speak at all? Uh, yes, he did at the beginning. It was mainly um, just kind of a setup speech for the vice president. Uh, he spoke briefly, but no, the employees did not get to ask any questions. However, uh, the vice president did tour the facility and meet the employees. So I, I imagine then some of them did. The highlight of the day, at least as you know, from my perspective, was the focus on cleanup at the cemetery and the coming together of the community. Um, what was the sense? Was there was there genuine concern on the part of the vice president, the governor, um, or was it just show? I, I got the sense that they were deeply moved and, and committed to what they were doing later in the day. And you know what, Jay? I couldn't agree with you more. I, I very much felt that it was very, very sincere. And, uh, you know, it was quite a surprise when we found out that the vice president actually went to the cemetery. We weren't privy to that uh, during the event. And, um, I mean, I'm sure some of the media were, but uh, most of us weren't. Um, I certainly wasn't. Um, I guess I'm not one of the cool kids. I didn't get to go to that. <laughs> well, often, though, when you are in kind of like a, 
you know, a fishbowl at that, you know, an event like that, you know, you, you're, you're not be able to get uh, notification from Pence's people, Governor Greitens people. So I think it would have been hard for you to, to find out. Um, you know, they probably would have notified the newsrooms and everything, but since you were right in there, it was probably hard to uh, right, figure right. out what Right, right. And I think on. they had select media, mm. you know, to be able to attend that. But no, I, I do agree. I believe it, that they both were very moved and um, very sincere with this initiative. Okay. All right. Jill, thank you so much. Uh, great to have that personal insight from a big day in St. Louis. We were the focus of the country for a while, and, um, and good to have your uh, views on things. That's KTRS newsroom uh, news Jill person, Anders. Jill Enders. Thank you, Jill. And of course, My we'll, pleasure. We'll hear from Jacob Long from uh, KSDK, right. and he'll be able to talk about the, uh, the coverage at the, uh, the cemetery and right. the cleanup there. So it is uh, 7-12. Uh, Kelly Jackson, Jay Kanzler, KTRS The Big 550, back after this.